learning to code is hard enough on its own right now imagine when you're balancing coding schooling writing for some people work family emotional issues and all that I will tell you it's very very overwhelming on some days i'm trying to manage deadlines on some days i'm missing meetings on some days i'm feeling very guilty that i'm not catching up with schoolwork or i'm missing out on my skills in this video i'll be sharing with you strategies that i've tried the ones that work for me the ones that didn't work for me in my journey and how i'm coping currently i'll also be sharing the challenges i'm facing in my journey as a front-end developer a technical writer and please this is not a how i perfectly manage my day kind of video rather it's a how i barely get through the day type video so please stick around to the end of this video if you are just navigating tech like i am for the strategies i've tried i'm going to be very real with you in this video these are not like magic fixes these are habits that help me on good days so please if you are going to implement any of these let me know in the comment section so the first thing is setting small manageable goals okay this might sound a little bit cliche like set small goals set small goals how can i set small goals okay if you want to learn for example css instead of saying i want to learn css in two weeks okay say i want to learn introduction to css in one week i want to use this week and learn flexbox i want to use the next week and learn grid i want to use the next week and do the project that is small and it's manageable and there's something about small manageable goals it feels less overwhelming compared to when you say i want to learn css in two weeks so setting small goals has really helped me in my journey because i have big dreams <laughs> i have really big dreams and i have big long-term goals so if i'm able to break them down like i already did it helps me step up little by little little by little little by little then it accumulates for me so the next thing i'm going to talk about is long pomodoros okay pomodoro system is when you are doing a task you do a task for a certain amount of time you have break in between you do a task you have break in between the truth is pomodoros didn't work for me from the beginning because i was doing short pomodoros when i do something for 15 minutes and i take like 10 minutes break in the next few minutes when i get back to the task i'm not the way i was so this is something i knew that wouldn't work for me i had to now find a way about it which is a way around it sorry i had to start doing long pomodoros long pomodoros where i do like two hour stretch of maybe studying and a 20 to 30 minutes break i noticed this with my attention span that when i click off activities i find it difficult getting back to that level of flow i was on so using long pomodoros not short ones really helps keep me productive the next thing i'm going to talk about is time blocking time blocking is like setting a particular time of the day for doing certain things okay time blocking if i'm going to be very honest does not always work for me but on days that i stick to it they work out for me i somehow like the discipline to keep up my time blocking when i say okay from 6 to 8 i'm going to do this from 10 to 12 i'm going to do this after class i'm going to do this I said those things but I find it difficult keeping up with them but on days that I actually keep up with them I'm always very 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 productive so the next thing that helps me stay sane in this space is prioritizing rest I always try my best to sleep well eat well take some time off click off social media just spend time with family and all that because the whole thing gets really overwhelming and sometimes i feel like i'm losing my mind and sometimes burnout gets so real so difficult to even get up and go to school and all that so i always try my best to rest and sometimes i just click off all the tech skills just focus on school for some time spend time with my family eat good food and all that so now the challenges i'm facing if i'm going to be very honest with you the main challenge i'm facing is consistency i don't know but consistency is hard being consistent with doing these things are very very hard on some weeks i'm very productive the following weeks i feel like i'm not doing anything for my life and it's just so bad it just feels so terrible for me apart from consistency another thing i find very challenging with these things i'm doing is balancing productivity with rest you know there's this urge to be productive there's this constant pressure to be productive and 
honestly if you are not careful in this space you will get burned out and you never get back again so this pressure to be productive i try my best to work on it and understand that i can't always be productive and sometimes small tasks doing laundry fixing up your space spending time with families equally as productive as studying but then you know i'm still a work in progress one thing i find very challenging is managing my expectations you know in this space when you don't manage expectations you become your enemy we all have big dreams we all have big aspirations we all want to achieve big things but i'm training myself to understand that i can't have it all figured out and not having it all figured out is easier said than done you know kind of imposter syndrome that springs up the perfectionism and all that managing my expectations is just hard and what keeps me going i ask myself this question almost every time and i have realized that the main thing that keeps me on this path is the vision of who and where i want to be you know when you have a clear vision of something no matter how rough the path gets no matter how tough it gets for you you just keep going i guess all i'm saying is that i don't have all the answers because i'm still on this journey and this is progress to me whether it's slowly whether it's quickly as far as i'm moving i feel like i'm on the right path so if you're also struggling to balance coding school writing work or family i want you to know that you are not alone I know that social media makes it look like everyone has figured it all out but i'm here to tell you that we are just doing our best if you found this video helpful do where to like comment and subscribe to my channel for more content and if you are still navigating tech like i am please stick around let's figure things out together thank you for watching